Welcome to our art channel. Today we will talk about the painting called The Tightrope Walker by the famous painter Paul Klee, created within the year 1923 to 1924. If you spend your vacation in Europe, hope you'll have a chance to pay a visit to this miraculous museum in Bern, Switzerland. A small acrobat balances high in the air on a rope. The construction, upon which the rope is held taut, appears very flimsy. A small change of tension would be enough to make the rope sway and the small acrobat would be in danger. The situation can certainly be interpreted autobiographically, in that we recognize Paul Klee as the tightrope walker, and, in the fragile construction, the power relationships at the Bauhaus. The artistic and idealistic orientation of the Bauhaus was characterized by violent conflicts and fluctuating power structures. The geometric structure of the fragile frame could be interpreted as the influence of the constructivists, the face and profile as the influence of Oskar Schlemmer, analogous to the Bauhaus logo he had created. And over all these conflicts stands the artist Paul Klee, who does not want either himself or his art to be involved, but who must constantly reorientate himself and find the balance between the currently dominant forces. The cross, leaning slightly to the left in the background, underlines the fragility of his situation. Klee described his tightrope walker as the a most extreme realization of the symbol of the balance of forces. The tightrope walker achieves equilibrium on the fragile, swaying balance by means of a balance pole. Klee noted this in his pictorial morphology, the feeling of the vertical is alive in all of us, so that we don't fall and when necessary, we stretch our arms out in correction and equalize the mistake. In special circumstances we extend them horizontal like the tightrope walker with a balancing pole. With the profile of a human head which can be made out in the midst of the fragile construction, Klee makes clear that he understands balance not just as a physical, but also as a mental tightrope walk. From the tightrope walker, drawings as well as watercolors and uncolored oil phase pictures have been preserved. In addition Klee had the picture reproduced as a lithograph. I hope you have learned something else today a hug and long live art.